Skinner books. Let's go ahead and read some of this. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. Hi everyone. So today I am at Heroes Elementary School, as you guys can see right here. And I'm going to be uh, volunteering today um, to read Dr. Seuss books in uh, celebration of Dr. Seuss's birthday. And for this assignment, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bringing in Dr. Seuss books. It's kind of loud. We just wait. Yes, so we're going to be bringing in Dr. Seuss books and I'm going to be reading to the children. And the whole point of this is to promote literacy and the importance of reading um, at a young age. And actually for myself, I started reading at a very, very young age. Probably as soon as I could know how to read, um, I started reading at a young age. So um, that's what actually got me into reading and now I just love, love to read. Um, I can read one to two books a day and um, yeah, and now, now that's just one of my favorite pastimes. So um, this is why I decided that I wanted to volunteer for this and I really think it's such a great idea. So here I am at Heroes Elementary School and we're here to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday in honor of National Read Across America. Here, but if you don't mind, when we're done checking in here, you're going to check in with our front office. So I'll just have you come around this way. Okay. We can start there. Actually, that might be better. Okay. Sure. Oh, this way. You want to come this way? Okay. Oh, you're. Right. They have their own system. Classes this year. And I'm so used to oh, they're all the backpacks. They're here. Choose to be kind. I like it. And they are ready at circle time for you. Come on in. Okay, my friend, you see that? Look at my fingers. What am I doing? Let's see what story Stay she focused. has. So I have, there's a locket in my pocket. <gasps> have you guys ever heard of this one before? Yeah. No. No? <clears throat> this one's going to be a real treat. All right. It looks like white. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Oh, rhyming words. Do you, do you hear that at the end? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or a neuro in your burrow. <coughs> or a wasset in your closet. Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerton in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a slot behind the clock.
and that zelf up on that shelf. I have talked to him myself. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a nink in the sink. And a lamp in the lamp. I love the chair. And they're rather nice, I think. <laughs> Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot. But that yodel and the bottle, some are friendly and some are not. <clears throat> I like the zable on the table and the gear under the chair. But that bofa on the sofa? Well, I wish he wasn't there. All the nut birds in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about. But that toothbrush on my toothbrush, him I could do without. The only one I'm really scared of is that bug under the rug. And that quimney up the chimney. I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the zeal <clears throat> but it's all scoots down the hall. But the yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like the teller and the kneller and the geller, and the duller, and the beller, and the willer, and the zeller, and the seller. And the gilling on the ceiling. And the zower in my shower. <coughs> and the Zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it, that's the kind of house I live in, and I hope we never leave it. The end. Say thank you. Thank you. again so I just finished uh, with the Dr. Seuss uh, reading for National Read Across America Day and oh my gosh it was so fun um, I got assigned to a preschool class yeah preschool not even like kindergarten so they were super super adorable and um, super super young and so excited just about reading and I actually read um, read to them there's a pocket in my wall uh, no, there's a walk in my pocket, which is a Dr. Seuss book that um, deals with rhyming. So they had a lot of fun with that one. Um, they're young enough where they've heard of like rhyming before, but they're just like not old enough to really understand too much of like what rhyming is and everything like that. 
Um, yeah, in addition to reading to them, um, we were also able to donate a bunch of Dr. Seuss books. So over the past uh, couple of weeks, I had been going around um, getting donations for Dr. Seuss books and also buying Dr. Seuss books so that I could donate them to uh, local elementary schools. And so it was really, really fun. Um, and I encourage everyone who ever has a chance to, to actually um, start young, start early, um, get your kids to start reading. And then and, um, they'll always have that thing that they can always fall back on. The final look of Heroes Elementary School where we all got together in celebration of Dr. Seuss's birthday in honor of uh, Read Across America. So here's a final shout out to Dr. Seuss. Um, thank you so much for making those awesome books for children and I just want to say happy birthday to Dr. Seuss. See ya!